Well, good evening. Five tiny puppies are without their mother tonight, and a Minnehaha County man is behind bars, charged with three counts of animal cruelty. Kettleland's Kelly Volk joins us with details from the court papers and a message from animal advocates. Yeah, Bridget and Tom, in court today, a judge called the affidavit grotesque. According to court papers, 41-year-old Jerry Smith Jr. called Metro Communications saying he had killed a dog. When a humane officer responded to the home in Colton, they saw blood splattered on the wall and a lifeless dog. Two puppies with stab wounds, one alive and one dead, were also found. Smith told the humane officer the mother dog named Morgan had bitten him, although Smith's wound did not appear to be bleeding. The affidavit says he described shoving a large knife down her throat and killing her. Neighbors reported seeing the dog's body smoldering in a fire pit. Sioux Falls Area Humane Society Executive Director Corey Beatty is sickened, saddened, and shocked by the case. I've been here a long time. And this is one of the cases I think has been um, probably the most horrific that I've seen. Five surviving puppies were taken to the ER. One had to receive staples across the entire back of her body. Right now the puppies are doing um, as well as they can be without their mama. Um, it's very hard for little pups when they don't have a mom around to nurse. Um, so they're being um, bottle fed right now um, by a medical team. As the tiny pups continue to get care, Beatty wants to share a message. If you see something, report it. I think that people just need to realize that don't be scared to report. Please don't be scared to report with animals. Um, you know, maybe it's nothing, you know, but it could be something and we can intervene before anything terrible like this happens. So no other dogs experience what court papers say Morgan and her babies suffered. According to court papers, the dog and puppies belonged to Smith's girlfriend, but the two had broken up earlier in the day. If you'd like to donate to the puppies' medical care, just follow the link in this story on Kelloland.com.